Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Ice Ice Chimpy achievement here on RuneScape 3. This is a Master Quest Cape requirement and also a Completionist requirement. So let's get to it. Roll that intro. Alright, so for the first thing that you're going to have to do is the Do No Evil quest. And I'm going to say it's safe to say that you've already completed that, and that is why you guys are here. So, the next thing you're going to have to do is make sure that you're on Ancient Spellbook. Switch over to that if you're not. And you're going to need runes, blood runes, and water runes to use Ice Barrage. And if your magic level isn't high enough for using Ice Barrage, which is level 94, you can use the level 70 spell, which is Ice Burst. And in that case, you're going to need 1,000 water runes and 500 death runes. And that will, get, that will actually be better than using the level 82 spell, Ice Bliss because Ice Bliss only gives you 35 seconds whereas Ice Burst gives you 45 and Ice Barrage gives you a full minute 60 seconds so that's going to be helpful um, before you begin your runs I suggest that you take 25 magic logs to Taverly and hand them in to the balloon the balloon guy hand them in to him so that all your charges are ready to go you don't have to carry any logs with you you don't have to worry about cutting some like I actually had to there for a second uh, because I ran out of charges I, I just wasn't paying attention so I suggest that you just get that out of the way first off that will that will save you a little bit of a headache while you're trying to make these runs if you're having trouble completing these runs you can ice more frequently or you can go to Pryptonus and get an enhancer. There's a chippy ice enhancer that you guys can use and that'll extend your time on how fast or how slowly those ice creams will melt. Now every fifth run, it's gonna melt in half the time. So it's gonna melt even faster every fifth run. So you're, you're gonna run into that five times, not too bad. And every other run should be pretty easy after that. So, now that we've got all that covered, you guys can use um, any uh, any weapon that has mobile on it, the mobile perk, that helps. There's um, power bursts of accelerations you can use, you could use an endurance relic, um, energy potions, anti-poison potion could be good too, just in case you... Uh, happen to get caught by the ninja monkeys <laughs> hopefully not but anyhow the path that we're gonna run is we're gonna start out by using the bandit camp lodestone run north e uh, west around the cliff and then you're gonna turn to the east and go just a little bit south and that'll get you to the monkey colony now you need to make sure I forgot to mention this earlier but you have to have the monkey speak amulet or the uh camulet cramulet that has everything in it <clears throat> so you need that and a monkey jiri which you guys will see that in my inventory and i went ahead and i wore my silver hawks and agile um outfit just to get that agility xp while doing this so it wasn't a total waste <laughs> so uh, completionist here not quite i'm getting there we're going to start out there at the monkey camp and we will be buying the ice chimp or I'm sorry the ice cream I'm just going to call it the ice cream from chip ice chimp and it's a hundred coins um, each each time and on your fifth runs I suggest that before you take the magic carpet to Alcarid you should probably ice it then when uh, when you travel via the monkey on the carpet and arrive in um, Alcarid you'll want to ice it again and you'll see me doing that 
I ice it again. So from Alcarid, we'll be going to the west of Alcarid to the Dungeoneering boat and you just right click on him click on sail um, I did ice before I did this so I suggest doing that it just makes I was extra cautious on icing and then we will do the shipmaster and you'll want to right click sail to Taver Taverly from here we're gonna I iced again and ran over to the hot air balloon and before getting on the hot air balloon I iced my ice cream one last time not not last time but we're kinda going all over the map here so this is why you want your magic logs to be put in place before because like you seen earlier I had to cut those trees just north of here just to get get a trip out a trip done and not waste or lose it so <laughs> make sure you got that charged then we're going to the grand tree and from the grand tree I iced once I arrived and used my dive and surge to get to the grand tree go up the ladder once then we're gonna go east and before we travel with Dario I iced my ice cream one more time and then travel click on yes and then we're going into the hideout where we will find Wayfar and travel to the island clicking yes and then once we're here you sh you might need to ice here but you shouldn't you can use um, Lumdo to travel to Ape Toll. Now you're in Ape Toll. You're almost there. So ice that ice cream. Run over to the mahogany tree. Make sure that you stay in the tall grass and or behind that mahogany tree because you can get caught there. And it happened to me, and I I just I was like, oh man, <laughs> I thought it was clear, but I wasn't. So right here, you'll see I stand behind this tree. I ice it. And then I put on my monkey gearery and we go through the gate. Once we're through this gate, we're gonna run so uh, southeast just a little bit. And then it's mostly east in the tall grass. Now once you're in this tall grass, you can e equip my staff is what I was doing. And this way I could use my surge, ice it because I'd seen down here that it, it showed it was melting so I I surged into the wall don't don't miss click like that a good way to use the dive is to actually click on the mini map but before you head over to the elder guard ice ice it one last time just just to be safe go over there and just hold down the space bar so you can get through the the text as fast as you can and then hand it into the monkey and boom there you have it. You guys just completed it and got your comp cape or master quest cape. Congratulations. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. If it helped you, drop me some comments down below. I'd love to make some more RuneScape related videos, guides. I'm not the best out there, but hey, I'm trying. I enjoy RuneScape and why not share some of it with y'all. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will catch you in the next one. Have a great night, a great evening, or a great morning. God bless. This is our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. You guys can get the same book down below. There are books like this for moms too. In case you're a mom and you're watching, they have devotionals and they're, they're great. Um, check the link down below. You can get the same exact one down there. Something to fight for. While women weep as they do now, I'll fight. While little children go hungry as they do now, I'll fight. While men go to prison in and out, in and out, as they do now, I'll fight. While there is drunkard left, while there is poor lost girl upon the streets, while there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. William Booth. The words above 
are from the last public address of William Booth, founder of the Salvation Army. His death in 1912, in 1912, that organization was at work in 58 countries. Today, in the U.S. alone, more than 3 million volunteers, led by 3,500 officers, assist more, assist more than 23 million people in need each year. Their services include disaster relief, shelters for battered women, day camps, family counseling, prison ministry, substance abuse re re rehabilitation, and basic social services for people of all ages. What's most interesting about Booth's word is the source. You may recognize them as inspired by the Gospel of Matthew. I was hungry, you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, you invited me into your home. I was naked, you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Matthew 25, 35-36 Both Jesus' words saw the relevance in today's world, and then turn them into personal pledges, pledge complete with a promise of action. That's a pretty good way to study scripture. Assume the words you read are meant for today. Make them personal. Turn them into fighting words. Stick with it until your last day on earth. Suddenly, the, that family Bible study you have been meaning to launch has... Ah! Lost the page. A purpose beyond deep spiritual thoughts. It may lead you and your family into deeper spirited, spirit led actions. What about you? If you're really inspired, go to salvationarmyusa.org and consider volunteering opportunities. It's awesome. That is so cool. Let's get back to it. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got to fix of you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.